You're watching Southeast Texas Weekly. I'm Jackie Simeon. Thanks for joining us. If you're like a lot of people, you've promised yourself that you're going to be healthier by exercising more this year. Well, you can put your best foot forward by making sure you give your feet the attention they deserve. Here with advice to keep you on your feet is foot and ankle surgeon and physician, Japara Levine. Thank you so much for oh, joining it us. It is my pleasure, trust me. All right, uh, Dr. Levine, you are from this area. Area, mm -hmm. but your practice is new yes. in Beaumont. So tell us a little bit about your background. Yes, um, I am a graduate of Westbrook High School, so I'm a Bruin by nature. <laughs> um, went to the University of Texas at Austin, and then they later went to podiatry school at Temple University, which is in Philadelphia. Um, following that, I did my surgery training at both um, in Boston and Chicago and uh, joined a practice in Baton Rouge. And so that's where I've been for the past two years. However, um, decided to come home um, and obviously give back to the community that raised me. And that's very important to me. And so opened my practice and my doors, hung out my shingle on January 2nd, and it has been truly a blessing ever since. Well, welcome home. Welcome oh, home. it's We're been a blessing. Back. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Very good. Now tell us about, you know, most of us, uh, when we start the new, routine at the beginning of the year. We're more uh, interested in the new uh, outfits. And oh, stuff, yes. Uh, the workout <laughs> outfits and we may not, uh, you know, fully uh, get the equipment we need for our feet. No, and, no. You know, it's very important that it is. we give our feet attention. Absolutely. We're on our feet. Absolutely. I can tell you that a lot of both ladies and men, they come into my office as and I told you during the break, they hobble, they limp into my office. And a reason being, we call them weekend warriors. <laughs> These are people who typically don't work out. Their doctor may have said, you know what, you need to lose a couple of pounds. They've just been diagnosed with some sort of disease. Um, they may have a New Year's resolution. And then they do too much too fast. Mm -hmm. And the body is like, whoa. And so because of that, you know, they come in and they're hobbling. And I tell them, I'm like, you're going to have to slow down. You're going to have to ease into that transition. I ask them about what they're wearing because a lot of times we, we don't know particularly what to go and purchase, but we know it matches. Right. And we know that we want to be color coordinated, and that may not be <laughs> the best for you. Um, I can tell you that a lot of my patients, I definitely look at their shoe gear, what they do have on, and a lot of it is not appropriate. So what is appropriate? I can what tell should you, we have sure. on our feet when Absolutely. we work out? I can tell you that typically if you go into the mall and purchase a pair of shoes on your own, like, hey, that's a cute color, that's typically not what you want to do. You want to go to a store that the sales staff are trained as to what their merchandise is and what they can offer. They typically will examine you, just like I would in my office, and they will recommend a shoe for you. So if you're buying shoes totally on your own, you've already done the wrong thing. Absolutely, you need, <laughs> you need some assistance. A lot of people have a lot of conditions in their feet, and then you go out and run two miles on the first day, you're gonna ache, <laughs> okay? And so because of that, um, you know, I typically look at their shoes. A lot of patients, they come in and they've had these shoes for 10 years, okay? That's mm -hmm. not what we wanna do. I tell my patients that your shoes have about a six month shelf life, wow. which is about 400 miles. And you need to replace them every six months. They have a wear and tear just like everything else. And so because of that, you wanna purchase, you wanna make an investment into your shoe gear. Um, I can tell my patients if you have more of a narrower type foot, a Nike may be appropriate for you. And I'm a fan of Nikes. However, they're not appropriate for, for everyone. everyone. Okay. Um, typically for my patients who are um, flat footed, wide foot, they have a mother or father who is also wide, they have wide feet. I would typically tell them Asics, Brooks, or Sacconis are better for them, especially if they're gonna be athletic. Um, if you have some sort of deformity, which a lot of people do and they really don't know and it doesn't become a problem until they go and run their two miles on the first day <laughs> or they go and take that step class that's offered at the gym um, and then they come back hurting. And so I tell them, I'm like, you need to make sure you make an investment. That's the biggest thing. And you need to replace them. And then there's things called insoles and a lot of patients go to these doctor shows, you know, yeah. at Walgreens and at CVS and I'm like, oh my goodness. <laughs> that is not the route we want to take. And there are things that can be, if you want to try them, that's fine, but you definitely need something to control the motion of the foot and ankle in the shoes you do purchase. It's a combination treatment, absolutely. Very good. Now, should we look for, uh, is there a good all-around shoe out there uh, that we can run in? Absolutely. And 
take Zumba in? Absolutely. I would say, as far as that is concerned, I would recommend New Balance to any of my patients because they come in very different widths. You can get them in a very narrow and a very wide, and they're versatile to where you can do very high impact, as well as if you want to do, if you want to go to your yoga class. And I know that yoga class is obviously barefoot, but it's a very versatile shoe. You can go to what used to be Astroworld, or um, you can go and walk around the park. But it is a daily shoe that you can wear and utilize for many things, absolutely. Very good. Now tell us where your offices are located. Absolutely. Um, it is located on the Baptist campus in the 3070 building, right by the adult ER. And it's Suite 100, or right when you walk in on the right, glass doors, can't miss us. Very good. Well, we appreciate all of your help. I'm going to go home now and throw away some, uh, <laughs> throw away my tennis shoes and uh, maybe have you look at my feet. Absolutely. We, well, we again, we welcome you back to Beaumont. It's been we a wish pleasure. you, Thank uh, you. The best of luck with your practice here. Thank in you. Town. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you for you. having me. And thank you for joining us. This has been Southeast Texas Weekly. Have a great day.